Hello all, Sirius Lee's here, back for some more finishing permadeath, and today I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that I have found a planet that does have the creature type I am looking for, and I am on it. I've gotten here. The bad news is that I've gotten here. I've already done some exploring and uh, some stuff. I did uh, hunt pirate missions from the anomaly. I recorded it all. I was halfway through a video and the game crashed. <laughs> so uh, this is where I got out of the ship on this plateau. We are very high up from the, the base ground, ground level. There are also protogex here that are sort of cute. Some of them have these kind of ears and those claws and other ones have uh, feather brows and uh, flippers. <laughs> Uh, I sort of like a combination of the both. And when I was here last, I tamed one just to check it out, and I've discovered a couple of things that I mentioned back then. What were my discoveries? Um, also nice glow grass here, obviously. Bubbles on this planet. I mentioned how uh, we don't have any way to detect bubble planets from our discoveries list or from space. This just appeared to be a normal lush from space. Uh, you can't even tell in your discovery menu for the planet. It doesn't like, distinguish it in any way except to say that the weather will be something like, I think in this planet, invisible jade winds. So if you've landed here, you might be able to tell that there's something f weird going on, not necessarily bubbles. But there's no way to detect these new lush bubble planets. Uh, something with the pets is that certain animals can get certain upgrades. Uh, these proto gecks can only get front and back chest and back items equipped. Uh, the animal I want, it's not this crab. Uh, let's see if we can find the crab I'm after. Uh, there's apparently also a male and female of the crabs. Uh, but they can only get lateral weapons, left flank and right flank. So... Not all, and the, the flanks can equip things that the chest and back can't, like lasers. Uh, so I don't know that there's any specific functionality from different items, or if it's just an aesthetic change. I can't tell. I don't know enough. The, the, the researchers have not come back with the data yet. <laughs> all right, well, I'm seeing a lot. Oh, that's a cute baby there. Uh, I've also learned you shouldn't tame babies because they uh, have to grow up before they will be able to produce eggs of their own. It's also good to know what an animal will grow up to look like. So grabbing an adult is preferable to grabbing a uh, child for purposes of having your own version of the pet. Oh, hey, an animal that I have not uh, scanned yet. Not one I want to grab. Okay, well, I know the animal does live here. What's over there? Oh, that might be them. What do we have? Yeah, there we go. So, this is the one that I saw in my menu. And uh, if I go to my discovery menu for the planet, we go to animals. This is the one that I have scanned. And I've mentioned that uh, I liked these kind of creatures. I wasn't too sure about this head horn or this top vent thing that isn't a horn. But I did like these curved knee horns here. So we'll keep an eye out because uh, if there's another one around here somewhere. Uh, also another thing to notice is that they are predators. If I scan this, it has a diet of brain matter. So that's a predator type of diet, but it won't attack a player. So I'm, f I'm perfectly safe around these guys. However, it does make it an aggressive creature. So when I tame one, it's going to attack other creatures, unfortunately. Now there's a couple things besides grabbing this creature that I want to do today. Oh, and uh, who was it? Ford Prefect. Ford Prefect, I want to call out, shout out to. He had an idea. And I wasn't sure if he was talking about these things, but I'm going to adopt it for these things. And he called them bone ticks. And I think that's a great name for these things instead of crabs is ticks or bone ticks. Uh, they look very calcified, very bony. Uh, I really like their look. 
a shame that m the majority that you're going to find are predator creatures. Uh, my other permadeath save found a very tiny one that's a docile herbivore. So I tamed that, and I'm going to try to grow it to a large size. We'll see what happens. Uh, but I would like to find the other gender of this. I'm not sure what gender this one is. Non-uniform. So... I don't know. I <laughs> don't know what that means. That's more Gex over in the background. Let's head back to the forest. That's where this one was. I saw some green dots over here. That's the one it killed. Okay. Lots of animals here, but not the one I'm looking for because it has a better look. It doesn't have the horn on its head. Nice smoother head, has a neat shape, a cool color pattern on it that I like, and it still has the knee curved horns on it. Oh, hey, a bird I haven't scanned. We'll grab that. All right, what do we have? More Gex. Floaty crabs. Not looking for floaty crabs. Go away, floaty crabs. I am looking for ticks. Bone ticks. And word tubes. We'll have to head away from our ship to get this. Uh, the other thing I want to do today is head back up to the anomaly. Uh, I can work for data. Because on the anomaly, I want to take the egg that I have already modified, this thing here that has five hours left to hatch, just under, I'd like to take that back up and modify it again. I've heard that you can just keep increasing the size of things, so I would like to try that and see what we can get, uh, because they're probably gonna patch that. So I don't know how it's supposed to work. Oh, hey, there's the one we want even. That's perfect, there we go. Uh, looks to be adult size. Yeah, I like that back bottle opener shape. That's really cool. What's your gender? Radical. So non-uniform and radical are the two different gender types, so I would like the radical uh, <laughs> radical gender, apparently. Yeah, I think that one looks a lot cooler. So we are going to feed you with some creature pellets. How do you like that? Um, hmm. I don't see that many extrusions to prize off, and I don't want to fill up the inventory with extrusions, so we're just going to adopt it as a pet. <laughs> uh, and that was the thing that I lost. The thing that I'm most upset about is the name of the creature was Rhino Rhino. Uh, this one is a Yui a Yui, or a Mui a Mui, spelled differently. This was literally Rhino Rhino, spelled Rhino Rhino, and I think I'm going to change it back to that because that was just the best name ever. And I'm very upset that the game crashed, basically, right after I tamed the creature. <laughs> uh, talked for a little bit, but nope. I lost that version of the game. Had to load the autosave. Oh well. I really like the colors on this thing, so we are going to put the same customizations I put on the last one, which was square laser, colored blue. I don't know if I changed the secondary color. I did not. But let's make that secondary color teal. Because we've got blue and we've got teal on this thing. Uh, and I'd like the contrast. And we've also got yellow from the uh, mount. There we go. Perfect. Blue and teal. And that's on, what are we on the left flank? Yeah. All right. Decal. We could put a decal. I put triangle last time. You can't color the decal, it seems. So we're not going to bother with that. But we're going to go to right flank, and we're going to put a square laser, blue and teal. Uh, I picked green, eh? Hmm. Yeah, the green does match this better. I guess this is green and not teal. This is teal and not blue. Maybe we'll go with that. Anyway, that's blue. We're going with blue. Should we? Oh, that looks nice as well. But I like the contrast difference between the blue and the green. So we're going to go with that. And a triangle label on this side as well. Sure. There we go. I think this is where it crashed before. Right when it was feeling sprightly or dancing around after I colored its lasers. <laughs> uh, it wants another gentle pat. 
So we are just uh, we are just eating an egg. We have a day to wait, and that's what I wanted. Uh, an adult pet. How old are you? Uh, no, not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit this, and I wanted to go to creatures and the register. Uh, I also I think I did that last time. I unlocked all the slots here. Yeah. So I want to see if this grows up to a size that we can ride or not. So Amui Amui. We're going to rename to Rhino Rhino because. I want my procedural name back, even if I have to fake it in. <laughs> that was just awesome. I'm like, yeah, it's a tank bug. It's going to be a rhino, and I'm going to grow it to a preposterous size. Now, see, this is what I was uh, talking about in my deleted save, uh, deleted recording. Do I want to increase this or not? Do I want to make this a tame creature, or do I want to make that more aggressive? I don't know. I do want to increase the size uh, because one thing I found <laughs> is that uh, not all of the creatures that you can ride have been fixed in uh, 3.2.1 because if I ride this thing, yeah, that's not exactly where you want to be, is it now? <laughs> uh, even my feet are floating. So that's a bit odd. Uh, I am happy that I'm not sitting inside the creature, so they fixed that at least. But I think if I grow the size of this creature that I might be able to... Uh... Oh, that's another thing. If you run, that is quite the jackhammer uh, of the... Look at that. That's like headbanging in Wayne's World uh, to Bohemian Rhapsody, you know? <laughs> uh, that's just crazy. So... Hopefully, if we get a better angle on uh, where we sit, or we make the creature a bit bigger, we won't notice that rocking effect as much when we're running. We could also go to first-person camera, I suppose. But I'm going to grab a couple more word tubes, and we're going to head off to the anomaly, because I would like to modify that other egg uh, maybe a few more times. I don't know... Uh, how many times we need to do it in order to get a preposterous effect out of it. But basically, as soon as I stop seeing word tubes by running straight ahead, I am going to call the ship in. Alright, that's, uh, that's about all the word tubes straight ahead of us, so let's go up to the anomaly. Alright, called the ship in. Let's uh, feed the creature. How do we call the creature to us? It's over here, isn't it? Rhino, Rhino. Leader. Yeah. Where? Oh, there you are. Let's interact, and let's give you a pat, and let's give you a treat. And yeah, I'm going to spend a fortune in carbon on uh, creature pellets. So maybe I do want the robot creature, because apparently, uh, if I say call in the other pet, apparently 3.2.1 did fix this, uh, that your robot pet creatures... Uh, and also, I don't know how much time we need to spend with each pet in order to get it to, to level up. Oh, no, I'm still feeding it creature pellets. Have I not upgraded to 3.2.1? Hmm. Maybe that's only on the experimental branch so far. Okay. Well, I know 3.2.1 is available. Like, I am running it. But maybe the patch to fix um, the proper item being fed to robot creatures on normal planets. Maybe that's only on experimental. Because the person I heard that from only plays on experimental. Uh, but yeah, alright. So that's something to consider. I do want to rotate these pets so that I spend time with them and I keep them all happy and fed. I don't know that you need to do that. I don't know because that, uh, that meter didn't seem to go down much. Let's interact with you. Feeling loyal. Yeah, look at That didn't decrease much at all, all the whole time I was without pet out and uh, with other pets equipped. So I think it only goes down while they're... <laughs> uh, while they're with you. But that also leads me to believe that they only gain <clears throat> uh, size progression, like uh, age progression, as they're with you as well. So I think 
I'm going to have to keep the tiny one um, out in order to get that one to lay eggs. But really what I'm most excited to do is go up to the anomaly and try to make a giant sized one. I really like this planet actually. Uh, it's got, like, look, we're on a giant plateau though. It's got huge cliffs and valleys. I don't know about doing any kind of exploring on it, but purple skies, um, bubbles, looks like glowing uh, bubble grass, really cool colored trees. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, the, the really tall mountains I am not too much of a fan of, but uh, everything other than that is almost perfect. Does it have water? Let's take a peek from space. I wonder if it has water. It does, and it is, well, not blue. It's the uh, green. It's what people call green water because it's so not blue. <laughs> it's definitely an aqua color. It's what a lot of actual oceans, well, no, it's not that flat in real life, but you can get seas and oceans that have that kind of aqua look to them. It goes well with yellow grass, I do have to say. But so does blue. Oh my gosh, the blue goes amazing with yellow grass. I would definitely be setting up a base there, somewhere near the water, if uh, that was pure blue water. Why am I going to the space station? I'm going to the anomaly. I could have just called that in wherever. How silly of me. I suppose that I did want to leave it in the previous system, in the home system, but I can just go back there anytime and just call it in right beside the space station like it was. No big deal. Force a habit for me to just fly into space and head to the uh, nearest object I can target. Uh, but I do not want to spend salvage data. I would like to go upgrade this egg. Doubly. Doubly so. Double upgrade to this egg. We can check that mission too on the way out. <laughs> Bouncy bounce. Alright, egg sequencer. Yeah, it's letting us... Okay, it says, note this egg has had its genetic material resequenced. That's fine, but it's letting us put it back in. All right, uh, I did phosphorus last time and that worked. Very few resources needed to increase the height. I think I did dioxide last time. 80 for helpfulness increased. Sure, yeah, definitely. I would love to increase helpfulness quite a bit. Uh, I also did dye injector last time. I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm just gonna do those two. And I don't know that I have enough dioxide to do 100% dose again. Very large and gentle. <clears throat> okay, coloring is inherited now. So it is switched back to inherited, but I don't know if it's inherited from the previous egg that was um, modified. Hmm. Questions. We, we'll see, because I'm not going to add anything when I do this again. Alright, uh, I don't have 80 more dioxide on me, so we're going to find something else to increase helpfulness by 100%. Gentleness. No, this thing's already fairly gentle. I don't want to do that. Uh, ammonia. Devotion. Mm, I'm not sure how that actually has an effect, so I don't want to use that yet. Uh, or modify that yet. Copper. What does copper do? Helpfulness. 100% for 41. Oh, heck yeah. Um, actually... Let's quickly try the other elements because maybe we'll use less of them. Yeah, see, 15. Oh, but devotion decreasing. No, they do different things. <laughs> well, we could check them all out. All right, let's do that. Let's do a bit of experimenting. We got some time. Gentleness decreasing. <laughs> Make a really aggressive uh, robot lamb. Yeah, no. <laughs> let's not do that. Um, cadmium devotion decreasing. No, no, I don't think I want that. Um, pugnium. Gentleness decreasing. No, no, no. All right, let's just go with the uh, copper. That was perfect, right? Helpfulness increasing for only 41. Perfect. And I have enough phosphorus to do this again, a fourth time. So let's do that. Let's see what we get. Uh, I still have to wait f the whatever, four more or 40 hours. We, we determined last time that... Uh, I do. You do not need to reset your egg's clock to, to sequence it. 
you keep the countdown clock it had. And copper. I could do this several more times. I don't know what's reasonable, and if we're going to have to get rid of this animal after, <laughs> because it's just preposterously big, like bug-sized big. Uh, but I'd like to try it. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's try that one more time. Uh, maybe, yeah, I don't know, how much phosphorus do I have? Okay, one more time, because that's, that's all I can do with phosphorus, and I don't want to have to go through the whole research thing to see what else we can do. Uh, copper. There we go. Super helpful, super tall, super heavy robot. Uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Cool, modification complete. Very large and industrious. Oh, I like that. I like that that has changed. Industrious. Very large has not become like gigantic or anything bigger. Is there only three sizes of creature? I don't know. I don't know, but there has been screenshots of humongous diplos, so. Whoa, all right, all right, I said I wasn't going to, uh, but let's see what else we can put in there. What does uranium do? Height decreasing, no, 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 no. Um, Herox, height decreasing, no. Uh, and 100% for one. So what does lenmium do? Can I put a lenmium in? Height decreasing as well, all right. Uh, starship. What do I have in my starship? What do I have? I only have 10 platinum. What does it do, though? Height, weight, inherited. Platinum does nothing with 100% dose. That's, yeah, I don't buy that. That's weird. Ooh, tritium hypercluster. Dose 20% inherited. No, no, no. Uh, let's go back to here. Phosphorus. Oh, maybe we've reached the capacity. All right, all right, let's just back out of here. We still got our egg in our inventory. Yep, yep, yep. All right, industrious. All right, let's see what we get uh, in a few hours. <laughs> uh, that'll be on tomorrow's video. I'll wait five hours before I record the next one. No problem. No problem at all. I'll get to watch a sword stream of sword streaming tonight. I have to work tomorrow, so that's unfortunate, so I want to record as many as I can today, uh, but I also want to watch everyone else's streams and videos. <laughs> it's a conundrum. All right, I said I'd check. Let's see what we got. Living glass. I have so much living glass <laughs> left over, but that is an easy way to get my 450 quicksilver. Yep, we got time. We got time. <laughs> Maybe it'll send us somewhere new. Uh, I did summon the anomaly in a system that I was not in last time. So let's see what we get. It might just find a site here for us to hunt and kill monstrosities at. Ooh, it warped us. Oh, okay. I mean, we're only like 160 light years away from our home system anyway. Or we were. Uh, we'll see where we end up here. I've explored a lot in the area, so it might even be somewhere I've been before. Who knows? Who knows? We could get uh, <coughs> we could get something new to to, uh, to tame. How many slots do I have open? I don't know if I mentioned it in the previous video or in the video that was corrupted or well the game crashed in. First contact. Haven't been here here before. Satisfactory economy. All right. What do we got? And that's where we're going. So let's just go land there right away. Uh, but I would like to keep my slots open for playing around with breeding the animals and getting new eggs. I don't know that I want to fill it up with six different creatures right away. Yeah, I th I'm thinking I'm gonna keep it to two creatures for now and their various offspring. Uh, and I'll try to leave at least one slot open just in case I come across something really cool and amazing. Uh, no, let's go up here. There we go. First contact, site reached, kill 58 at one site. I like it. I like it a lot. Please javelin, let's recharge that. All right, there's an egg. 
Wow, they all want to get out at the exact same spot here, and I'm still missing them. Yeah, this one's particularly easy if you get them before they start running. I'm going to run out of uh, blaze javelin fuel here. This is far too easy. Yeah, they're going to fix this at some point, I bet. <laughs> I saw some color change there. I'm hoping that was just night. Yeah, I don't seem to be taking any damage. I was focusing mostly on keeping still and killing this. 45 with one egg. That's probably my record. Uh, yeah. Alright. I hesitate to like waste another egg over there. That was such a good spot. And I need so few of these things. If I get sent back here, I want that to be the spot I kill stuff at. Although the other egg might spawn them differently. They might run all over the place and spawn all over the place like this one is. There we go. There's 58. Gotta go talk to the thing. See, they're all gone. As soon as you get that complete message, I think it's safe to hop down. No promises. So if your permadeath safe dies to monstrosities, uh, that's at your own risk. But I'm risking it. So <laughs> recklessness mode engaged. Uh, I'm going to toxically exterminate these because I had time to pay attention this time. Get out of here. And your eggs will just remain for the next time I'm here, despite me toxically exterminating you. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's take a peek around for animals. I mean, we're here, right? Do we have anything on the scanner? Oh, yeah, there's a... Oh, 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 don't crash, game. Don't crash. I'm on a mission. There's a red dot over there from 250 away. That might be a Diplo. I see some birds. Shadows of birds. What do we got? Some walkers. Little tiny striders with cool horns. Okay, is that what we saw? Or no, that was what we saw. Ooh. That's still like a raptor more than a T-Rex, but it's a huge raptor. Uh, 3.5 meters. There's those vultures or pterodactyls or whatever I saw. Come on, scan, buddy. There we go. Any more red dots? Yep. T-Rex is eating them. Raptor T-Rex. Let's go get a closer look at T-Rex. Let's see if he's hostile to uh, players. Wow, look at those feathers. Those are beautiful. I sort of like this guy. That spike on the back leads me to worry about where I would sit. But uh, that's really cool. I wonder what playing with color on this guy would be like. Super creepy feet and claws. Uh, yeah, you know what? Hey, buddy. Well, see you, buddy. Recently fed. Yeah, I know. You, you just killed that thing. But I also fed you. Uh, I'm going to adopt you as a companion, just because. <laughs> oh, and they dance hilariously. That's great as well. If I could get a good view of it, which I can't. <laughs> yeah, we could play around with uh, anatomy on this one, maybe. Maybe I'll do three creatures with two slots each. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Okay, I'm currently working on... A huge robot though and a tiny robot we might abandon the tiny robot hmm I don't know what to do I'll figure it out I'll figure it out <laughs> all right yeah gestating perfect yeah one eggs for that guy too that was really cool with the spikes and the horn and the claws and the feet claws yep yep yep, yep. everything about that oh hello saw that right on time Although I could just call the ship in. Oh, I'm not out of fuel. There we go. Yeah, I know, but I have really good uh, hazard protection modules, so I don't need to worry about radiation protection falling. I've got like nine minutes before I have to take damage or anything like that, so deal with that, suit lady. Ah, glowy. Glowy, ah, oh, okay, that's something to remember as well. I'm gonna have to take that guy to, uh, or girl, whichever that is, 
to radioactive planets to make eggs. Let's just call the anomaly in here and hand that in. Uh, and that'll be the end of this episode. Because we're already a little bit over time, but that's okay. Let's see. And, uh, yeah, I believe I have fixed my sound problem. So we can hear game sound. I mean, I've always been able to hear game sound until I go back and listen to the recordings. And then I've already made the autosaves and progressed the game, so I can't re-record the videos because Permadeath doesn't have manual saves. If it did, that's how I would be playing it. I'd make a manual save before every episode. And then I would only rely on autosaves. And, uh... If I went back and watched the video and there was no sound or a bug, I could just start all over by loading the autosave. But can't do that here. So unfortunately, we, we're stuck with a couple of videos with no game sound. I'm going to keep an eye on it in the future, and hopefully we don't have that problem again. Until next time, everyone, have a good time. <laughs>